Hello everyone, it's me Clayton. I just finished watching The Creator, starring John David Washington, Gemma Chan, and Ken Watanabe, and directed by Gareth Edwards. So after Gareth Edwards made both an interesting Godzilla movie and probably the one Star Wars film of Disney's era that people can agree is great, Rogue One, I figured that he'd want to make something that's a bit more original, not something that's not based on any existing franchise, which is actually pretty rare nowadays. So the creator is basically a story about how AI becomes so advanced that not only are robots integrated into workforces and not only can they basically exist on the same level as humans, but a orbital strike on onto Los Angeles basically causes the United States to go to war against primarily Asian countries that have AI that are supposedly planning to destroy the United States. So John David Washington plays this guy named Taylor who is sent over to who is sent over to New Asia in order to find a robot who, who can supposedly destroy every single one of the United States weapons. Basically, if they happen to deal with this robot superweapon known as Alpha O, they'll be able to win the war. But if Alpha O is able to activate, that means that their main space station, known as Nomad, is going to be completely destroyed. But when Taylor finds out that the AI, the AI, in fact, is in the form of a little kid that he nicknames Alfie, he decides that he's got to protect this child and he finds out who the real enemies are as things are not what they seem. But that's all I'll say about the story. The story has a fair amount of decent twists, especially involving the character of Maya, who was originally Taylor's wife, but, and, but who ended up having having her face being plastered onto several other AIs because of her donating her face to them. You see there are simulant AIs that can have human faces and can even display human emotion, but there's still machines that work off of that supposedly work off of programming. So I like that part of the film, which is also how Ken Watanabe's character, Haroon, makes his way into it. And I also like the fact that the robots that way are able to look visually distinct from a lot of other robot designs that you find in film. Especially considering it looks very distinct from some of his other work like the Star Wars movies with Rogue One. On top of that, while there's obviously a lot of set pieces in the film, there's also a fair amount of good comedy in the film. Not in the sense that the film is actively trying to be funny, but some of the scenarios do add some levity where they need to be such as Alfie's interest in cartoons or some of the action scenes that elicit a laugh when it comes to certain surprise reactions to things. It feels like the humor is natural in that way. Also, the climax is genuinely pretty creative and also pre pretty thrilling in a way that you don't usually see when it comes to these science fiction stories about, about warfare. But I will say that the film can be a little inconsistent at times. There are some sections that do feel like they have pacing issues or that they don't tend to deliver the emotions that the film is trying to deliver. But those things only happen occasionally and for the most part this film actually manages to be pretty thought provoking as well as genuinely exciting. I do think that Gareth Edwards has a real talent when it comes to making science fiction films of this type. So I hope he keeps making them in the future because we need original ideas in Hollywood now. And this could hopefully lead to something else original that Gareth could have in his mind. But for now, I'll just give the creator an 8 out of 10. See you next time.